Hi guys, welcome back to episode 26 of Campaign of France. Uh, we're starting the day by putting some straw in for the cows. I just did the sheep. Uh, it's a long time since we've done this. I thought now was a good time. You can see over there I had earlier mucked out the manure but it's started piling up again already. Um, what have we got planned for the day? Well, we need to put some of the milk from the sheep and the cows into the dairy. We need to sell our wool. We've now got a few thousand litres of wool, so we need to go and sell that. And then on the way back, we need to collect some chicken feed because if you remember in the last episode we said we were going to buy the Campaign of France um, chicken, chicken barn <clears throat> it doesn't look like anything I've seen before so we're going to give it a whirl, see what happens we've got the money um, so uh, we're going to we're going to try and put that down We'll buy some chickens, I've already bought the feed, we just need to transport it there. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Oh dear, sorry, I've got a bit of a bad, bad, bad throat, bunged up. Uh, Right, so let's leave that there. No, I need to move that out of the way because we want to get the milk. Okay, so let's put the wool down. Oh, hang on. Yeah, let's put the wool down. There you can see we've got five pallets of wool there, so 5,000 litres. We haven't sold a single pallet since we've been on here. So, I'm hoping that will get us a decent bit of cash and help pay for, oopsie, help pay for part of the chicken barn. Right, let's start filling this up. Oh, I still haven't filled this up, you know. It's always been partly, 93% is the closest I've got. I couldn't leave it much longer because we were running a little bit low in the dairy and in May uh, is a at the moment it looks like a good time to sell some of our products so I wanted to make as much of them as we could oh making a mess of this aren't we Oh my goodness. Right, there we go. So, that is milk in the dairy, straw done, all the mucking out done, they've all been fed. Oh, let's put straps on there. So, I need to get this wool to the spinnery I was tempted to think about buying the spinnery um, but as I said before I want to buy um, put in a donut shop once we start making our own eggs and I kept seeing chips on the, uh, the list to sell stuff and I'm thinking where do you make chips where do you make there's nowhere to make chips on the map. There's nowhere. There isn't. But there is a mod in the construction section of uh, of the game where you can make. Let's stop and I can show you construction. Go to productions. I then go basically all the way to the end. No, not quite to the end. I 
embarrass it. Here, there we are. Uh, the fryer's factory. And I'm already making sunflower oil. So I could do potatoes. And then we could do that. And that's a mod that comes with the map. So I know I talked about doing sugar bee. And I know I'm doing potatoes on Zalonka. But if I can, if there's enough production space, I might do it just because it's a... Well, it was designed as part of the map as an optional extra by the uh, the map author, right? So, once we've got the donut factory, which is something I want to do, um, we can see if there's space to do the fries, and then we'll look into growing potatoes on the big field. Where it's going to be easy to manoeuvre a potato harvester around. Right. So. I'm hoping if I back up just right. Yes. There we are. Oh, uh, it's only 17,000. Wow. I wouldn't have gone a long way towards paying for the spinnery now would it so I think that's 60,000 so oh those fence posts so annoying right so I've already bought the, the chicken feed in the bags we just need to load them on the trailer Right. Now, this chicken barn carrot holds a lot of chickens. Like, loads. So, I've got a lot of chicken feed that will hopefully keep us ticking over. And, uh, well, I'm not going to use oats for the chicken. No way. I'm using the oats for flour. But maybe I'll buy a field that's been um, already had barley or wheat sown in it. And that way I get straw that we need all the time. And then food for the chickens. Or we'll just have to carry on buying chicken feed this time. Because if you remember last episode I said we would put wheat or barley in the fields that currently have canola. Um, so we'll have to see how we go right let's strap that in let's go um, once we've once we're done with the chicken yard or chicken barn um, we've got to spray for weeds in our the one sunflower field that was already cultivated down by the river and we need to spray for weeds on the oat fields and it occurred to me that last episode we didn't remember to roll the oats or the sunflowers so we're not going to get as big a yield as we would have liked just because I totally forgot to roll the fields <laughs> um, so that was not good yeah, we've made a point of buying fields for sunflowers that had a high yield potential and then I forgot to roll them so yeah wasn't the smartest move I've ever made. <laughs> uh, nearly there. 
I've already flattened out some of the land. Um, just to make it a little bit easier to pick a spot. So we're going to go over here. Right, let's go to construction. Our animals, chickens. Okay, I need to get the end the right way round because yeah, so that's not the end with the door yet. And it's a bit difficult. Um, I want to leave plenty of turning space by the windmill. I don't want to come all the way over here though. It's going to be a bit expensive. Six three hundred. Six two. Oh yeah, how about we go with that? Right, that's done. So, let's now... Do some landscaping. Painting. Uh, we like this one, don't we? So, let's zoom out, change the size. Okay, that's clearly the edge of my my land. Right, just want to smooth this bit out. Sculpt oh no. Sculpting. Soften. Uh This is a bit that I think needs to soften some more. Uh, change size. Right. I think that will do. Oh, you know what else we could do? Uh, landscaping trees. Let's put some nice trees into me. Uh. Oh, it looks totally out of place. Uh, I like a willow tree, but that doesn't look right there, does it? Large birch, yeah, we can have a birch right there, can't we? Hide the ugly edge. Right, and... Then we'll have a small one. There. And... What plants have we got? Let's get some of these bad boys. Alright, let's get in close. There we are. 
Lovely. Let's make it a little bit more spread out as we move further away. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look nice? I like that. Right, now... This is the bit we need to understand. Right, this takes 2,000 chickens. Uh, so we could go with 100 of these actually what's the most it's going to let me so six months I'll get another yeah so uh, 60 Bye. Yes. Okay. Right. That's a hundred chickens. I've got no idea where the eggs come out. I'm assuming this is where the feed goes. So if we go and get the tractor and then back up into the barn. Oh, I do like that a little bit there. I'll be well impressed with that. Right. Now if we walk in. Oh, you know what we should have done. Do we have to hold it? No, we don't. Right, so put one there. And we'll put one there. And we'll put one in the middle. go to here oh, let's see what it says so for chickens we've got no productivity because we only just put them in obviously no eggs we're supposed to put straw in somewhere and only 8,000 litres of grain we can can put corn or lettuce in but that's only 50% so basically you need to have grain uh, so I am not clear where the straw goes if I'm honest And I'm guessing I'm going to have to have a spreader. Right. Let's put this over here for now. Um, we could just ignore the straw and then not do the manure. Oh, I, I'll have to think about that. I might test off camera. Uh, let's close that. Let's close that. 
But yeah, so there we are. Look, got the chicken barn. It's the biggest chicken barn I've ever seen. Two thousand chickens. Made it look a little bit tidy. Um, right. So, what else was on my list? We've got straw. Feed the sheep. I've done milk to the dairy. Sell the wool. Straw for the chickens. Right. You know what we have to do now. We have to spray for weeds. Uh, so with the spot sprayer, we should get them pretty, pretty efficiently. Uh, so now we've got six hundred thirty thousand left. After all of that fun, um, I may obviously have to spend some money if uh, I need a, like a little chafer to clear up manure. If I do put straw in there, and I'm assuming I'm not going to be able to throw a bale in, I'm going to have to have a. Oh my goodness, I'm caught on a tree. Um, I'm going to have to still caught on the same tree okay I'm gonna have to uh, go over there with the the front loader <laughs> on the odd occasions I'm gonna put straw in because it's not like we do it very often for the cows uh, yeah I'll have to think Right, so that's this field done, I think. Let's go on the map. Uh, move to weeds. Yes, all done. See, they all need rolling. And we forgot to do that. Right, so I'm going to drive up to the oat fields. And then I'm going to meet you guys there. 